morning, we will be interviewing Rebecca Mott and Hannah Arnett. Here they come now. Is that spirit? Welcome, influential women. Please sit down and join us as we talk about your life. So, for starters, tell us, what did you do that everyone is so thankful for? Well, I overheard my husband, who is British one day, in the other room of my house talking to some of his colleagues. I was getting annoyed with them because they were talking about how they could beat the Patriots. And I'm a Patriot. I got so fumed that I stormed in the room and screamed at them and told them what they were doing wrong. What about you, Rebecca? I'm a Patriot woman living in South Carolina who got invaded by the British. And at first, they let me live there while they invaded, but after a while, they kicked me out because they thought I was a spy. I then burned down my house because I didn't want them living there if I wasn't. Well, those are two very moving stories. Hannah, what did you do after that? Did you divorce your husband? Did you start any protests? How did you keep your message that the Patriots would win alive? Well, afterwards, my husband and his colleagues joined me and helped the Patriots, even though my husband told me in that instance to leave the room and everything would be okay. I told him I would leave him forever if he didn't go with me, but I wasn't done. I provoked a ton of men into becoming loyal to Britain in exchange for protection of life and property. My husband followed me and made sure no other Patriots didn't take the offer from the British for the protection of life and property. Wow, how interesting. Did he thank did he later thank you for that? Yes, he did thank me for it. After we talked about it, he respected me and now we are even happier. He always tells me now if I'm if I'm not talking to remember when I wouldn't stay quiet and stop this group of men from becoming loyal to Britain. Great story, Hannah. We will come back to you after the commercial break. Do you want to know how to get a King George III stress ball? Go to your local training center today and buy one to relieve all your pain and sorrows today. And we're back with PNA. Let's get back to Rebecca Mott, who burned down her own house. Rebecca, what did you use to burn down your house, and when did you do it? While the British were kicking me out of my house, I walked through a hallway and spotted some fire arrows. I thought at my feet and grabbed them. Later, I got sent to the American camp with the Patriots, and they told me that they wanted my house burned down, so the British couldn't live there. I insisted that if it must get burned down, then I have the best weapon for it. The Patriots used the fire arrows to burn down my house. Rebecca, how incredible. What happened after that? I'm so eager to hear more. Well, the British were on fire, along with my house. They had no other choice but to surrender. Only, on the, only the top floor of my house got burned down because they surrendered so fast that we had time to put out the fire. That's good. Did you rebuild and keep living there? Well, yes. My kids and I went back into the house and ate dinner with the Patriots, Patriot soldiers. As I thanked them, they thanked me. So, te so tell me, ladies, how do you feel about what you did and if you think you would do it again? Well, I believe so much that the Patriots can win the war, and I feel so strongly towards it that I don't think it is even a question whether I should stop it or not. When I believe something, it comes true. I didn't stay quiet, and I think I would do this again right now if I had to. And you, Rebecca? The British just couldn't take over my house and kick me out. That's just not right. I knew that burning my house would cause house issues, but there was only one way I was going to be living in it again if I didn't burn it down. I think burning my house made me realize that I have rights, and the right to property is very strong in my heart. There was where I was going to raise my family without a husband since the British took it over. Exactly. So by burning my house down, I was telling the British that we will win the war and we will get representation. And yes, I would do it again if I needed to. That is great to hear, ladies. We are so happy you joined us this morning. Have a great day. Let's take a look at the forecast for today. Mostly cloudy, with a chance of rain tonight. Here in South Carolina. We, it looks really nice this week, with little rain showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. But other than that, sunny all week. We have a report on the latest horse race up next. We'll be right back. I'm Tina, reporting with, with Patriot News Network.